Hello there, I'm Barry at barry com, and this is the fourth video in the series how to create PowerPoint presentations. If you haven't seen the previous ones then please visit my blog barry com, and they're all there. Right, now last week I showed you how to record your PowerPoint presentations using free software. This week I'm going to show you how to record them using Camtasia. Open up your PowerPoint presentation and I'm not going to run through everything because I did last week because if you need to see that then it's on my blog and it's this one here. Before you do anything you need to run the slideshow from the beginning use the right arrow key to move between slides and animations just check everything's in place. Press escape to close or to exit that. Now once you've got everything in place you've made all your corrections you're happy with everything then come to file come down to print come to this one here and select note pages which is displayed here print these off and keep these beside you because it gives you little pointers as you're recording rather than having a um, moment you can just keep going okay once you've done that then it's time to start recording come to add-ins and you should see this here if you don't then don't be alarmed open Camtasia come to tools options PowerPoint enable PowerPoint add-in okay check there click OK and that will add it on now there's three ways to start your recording for PowerPoint you can come there and record from there when you first open Camtasia you will get this window appear so you can select there and the third option is direct from PowerPoint these ones here you've got record record audio record webcam and that will give you the picture within a picture you might have seen them videos online where you get the presenter in the corner that's that one there now before you do that you want to preview this will basically show you what the webcam is going to display so you make sure you're not chopping your head off or you're not showing all your chest and not your face you've got the help there you've got the settings there you need to check your settings it's, un it's doubtful you're going to use the mouse during a PowerPoint presentation check record audio make sure it's working make sure you've got the correct one selected I'm not going to do that because I don't need that down here the hotkeys I personally think F9 and F10 is all you need because you can have enough going on and you don't really need to be thinking about control shift plus F9 so you might want to uncheck these one thing you will need to do if you're recording these all in one go or your presentation all in one go then you only need to do this once but if like I I did on my first one I recorded each slide individually I had to check this every time for every slide so just be warned because you don't want to get to the end and realize you haven't recorded your audio so check that at the start when you start recording you will have a little box come up in the corner okay like here and sorry let me show you this on the settings okay start recording paused that will give you time to compose yourself so that you're all ready to start recording rather than hit the button and instantly it's on you and what that does is that will give you this box here like I say and there's the hotkeys alright so you just click there and start your recording once you've recorded it and you want to import it into Camtasia then come to import media as you can see I've got one to six slides selected so I'll select the first one right click on it add to timeline now you know when we first done this I said select a screen size of 16.9 that's because it's perfect for YouTube HD so we go there All right. come instantly to zoom and pan if you see black lines around it just right click snap to edges now sometimes that brings the sides in but it doesn't bring the top or the bottom okay so you just drag your toggle down and you can see that change slightly there and just make sure you've got all your black lines removed now you've got some black lines displaying that is the actual Camtasia Studio not your slide then press play check your audio and I say okay a lot in my videos and there are some points where I um and I err uh. 
so I edit those out. So all you would do is fine tune it, pick a point, play it, pick a point, play, press plot, pause, pause, zoom in, fine tune where you want to edit, say you want to take this part here out. Okay, place it there, drag it along so you're just covering that area you want to take out, cut. Come back before it, play, and check it. If you made a mistake, undo, zoom in some more so you can really fine tune it. Okay, and if you decide, well, I don't really need that bit coming out, or it's a bit too cumbersome, I'm chopping out something like the start of the next sentence, just double click on the timeline and that will come away from it. Okay, once you've edited your slide and you're happy with it, come to the end. Come back to the clip bin, import media, slide 2. Wait for it to load, right click, add to timeline, and do the same again. Okay, Port play it, pause it when you feel you need to edit some out, zoom in, fine tune, say we want to come to this point. Okay, you can fine tune it. Just like that. And see there, that's really close. Zoom in some more. Come along to there. That bit there, I'm chopping off the start of that, that word. Come along. Okay. Cut. Come back. Test. If you're not happy, undo. Bring it to the point where you are aiming for. Cut come back, test, if you're not happy, undo, okay, if you don't want to do it, double click, and it cancels it all, zoom out some more, you want to do that for each slide, okay, what I would do is I would edit one slide, and then import the next one, edit that slide, and then bring in the next one, I'll show you one more time, wait for it to load, Add to timeline. Now, if you get called away for some reason and you're halfway through it, file, save project as. That will then give you, where are we? Videos. Uh, video challenge. That will then give you a file like this where you can double click that. That will open up Camtasia and import this straight away so you could pick up where you left off. So there's no need to really get upset by it all. Right, once you've edited all your slides and you're happy, then it's time to introduce your callouts. So come back to the start. Wherever this point is, is where you're going to insert whatever you're going to insert. So come to your library. Now, people have asked me about my intros and my exits. I got the very first one that you see from Fiverr. So I right click on it. And what I've done, how I got them here, was I came to the library and I imported media, which dropped it straight into my library. Okay, it's exactly the same way. Add to timeline, zoom out a bit so I can see what I'm getting there. Again, zoom and pan, right click, snap to edges. See all those black lines, they're gone. Right, now, I'm on 10 seconds, and the only wording I've got here is a video presentation from barry-wells.com. But that doesn't take 10 seconds to read. So I reduce mine to 4 seconds. Then I come to this point. Come back to my library. And I add my welcome. If I come to this point. You can see I've still got a little bit of display there. So I come on a little further. And it's black. Now I add a call out. I add a text call out. I bring it to roughly the centre, make it the size you want to make it, position it where you want it, add your call out. Whoa. Okay, introduce your video. Right click on there, select all, make a nice colour, make it to a size relevant. Okay, introduce your video. Come down to fade in, fade out. I don't like fade in, fade out. 
I want people to just read it. Extend it to the end of that welcome bookend. And that's there. Come to the end, to the end. Coming right to the end now to insert the exit. Come back to the library. Take action now. Right click. Add to timeline. Now these, I've got the initial one from Fiverr. And these two I got from Voxflare. I will put a link to that on the blog post so that you can get yours as well. It is an affiliate link, but you don't need to purchase if you don't need to. Okay, I got mine free as you can get yours. Again, zoom and pan, right click, snap to edges. Black boxes have gone. Now, there's a big gap in the audio here. So let's start there. And it's just flying off the screen. Come along a little bit further. Fine tune it, that one there. Add a call out, add a text. This will be your call to action. So you start your videos with an introduction. You end your videos with a call to action. And in my case, I put something like... Visera? Speed typing is not my thing, is it? <laughs> Okay, you might want to make that. Oh, hang on. Okay, let's change the colour, make it bold. Okay, and that's your call to action. Again, fade in, fade out. You don't want those. Extend this to the very end. Once you've done that, come to transitions, and when it's all loaded, you'll see if you've recorded your slides as one, you will just have one display in there. If you've recorded them individually, then you'll have them all there. Select your transition, and as I said previously, it's good to use the same one throughout. Okay, I don't add one here. I add one there. Just drag and drop them to where you want them. I add one there, one there, and one there. That then gives you an, a, a level display okay you're having the same transitions from slide to slide so you're not taking people away from your content with them thinking oh my god what's he going to insert next on some slideshows say you're doing a top 10 traffic sources for example you might want to add a call out to give the person's website so all you do there is come to call out select the one you want Make it the size you want. Place it where you want on the screen. Again, type in there. Select all. Change the colour. Make it more appealing. Sally Neil gets a call out. <laughs> if you decide you don't want it, just click on it down there. Right click. Remove from timeline. And I think that's about it. I'll just show you a couple of these other things just so that you know, you, you won't be using your mouse for PowerPoint presentations, but I'll just show you what I do. I make the mouse bigger, make it highlighted, so you can follow all my directions on there. The library, you've got all of these that are preset, audio, so you've got these ones there, little music tracks, you might want one playing in the background, if so, add to timeline, okay, and that'll give you audio 2 down here, so you can then scroll down and extend it to play for the whole of your presentation. That works with all of those. Then you've got different backgrounds. You've got a video, a call out, an image. Okay, find one you like. I don't particularly like the digital. I don't particularly like the fiber. You've got rounded edges, silver streak, which you've probably seen I use quite a lot from time to time. As you can see there, I'll just run through. If you want to add a text, obviously you would right click on there, add to timeline at the point that you want it. Okay, so you wouldn't do it mid slide as I'm showing there. Come to there, add your call out, right click, add to timeline. And if you want to add text to it, come to call outs, select the call out that you want. I think that's about it for that. Once you've finished, Come right back to the start, 
just by clicking there that's at the start now and run through it when you run through it a final time it may seem that the video and audio is out of sync slightly I don't know why it does that but when I've recorded them and they've seemed like that they've come out perfect so you would then come to produce and share produce and share don't save it for the web or don't produce it for the web custom production settings there's your video size 1280 by 720 perfect YouTube HD click next I always record in Windows Media Video because I have found that it's the fastest to upload to YouTube okay I tried it in AVI or I was always using it in AVI on my old PC and it could take an hour sometimes to upload with Windows Media Video it is uploaded in seconds okay it amazes me I haven't even got the time to ty type out the title and description before it's uploaded it really is that fast come along to next next again next again watermark some people like to have a watermark in the bottom corner okay if you wish to do that then design your watermark upload it to the web put the location in here in fact you don't have to upload it to the web you can upload it here from your PC okay so just find the location add it include watermark click next next again find the folder you wish to save it in and give it a name okay your video a name and then click finish when you click finish you'll get a rendering box coming up and depending on the length of your video and the speed of your PC will determine how long it's going to take to render don't be shocked if it takes an hour to render okay it can take some time so when you've done that finish and you're done thanks very much for watching please do take a minute to visit the blog challenge there are loads and loads of videos being added daily. I've added six today. Okay, look, they're all coming in thick and fast. Bill Murney's added a new one. Linda Bond has added a new one. They're all coming in thick and fast. If you wish to keep up with events on my blog or the challenge, you've got the RSS feed there. You've got the opt-in here and you'll get some brandable ebooks. Or you can visit us on Facebook on the Video Blog Challenge page. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Take good care. Bye now.